it is time for you to have one more extra video. And this film is called Escaping Snakes with Snakey Sue. And now if anyone will know about snakes escaping, it would be this amazing lady. So let me be quiet and let me pass you over to the lady that knows about escaping snakes. Sue, what can you tell us about escaping snakes? Well, one of the first things that people, uh, uh, happens to people when they first buy a snake is they must really be very, very careful about keeping the vivarium closed because um, it's so easy for the substrate to get caught into the corner here, okay. like that. So it doesn't shut properly. And it doesn't shut properly. You think you closed it and gotcha. you haven't. Um, so, because uh, you think, oh, that's a quick, oh, I closed it, you know, and it's still a bit open like that. My, I don't use locks, obviously, because if, you can use locks. Some people use locks if they've got children. Yes. But I don't because they fiddle about. It's too much fiddle about. Of course. So I just use wedges. And they but, work as well? Yeah. They, so that's, because the thing is, if you don't have the wedge in, yep. the snake, some snakes are strong enough to push, 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 push. Of course. Push. And you, has that ever happened to you? Everything's happened to me in over 20 wow. years. Wow. <laughs> everything has happened to me. Sue has so. been keeping snakes for over 20 years, so everything has happened to Sue <laughs> when it comes to s snakes. So when I have lost a snake, yep. um, the first thing uh, I'll do, I'll think, right, have they eaten? If they haven't eaten, then that's lucky because you can put down like a tube, so it's like a drain pipe. Yep. Close up the end of it, put the mouse down the end of the tube, and you know, put it down somewhere where you're hoping the snake might find it in the dark when it's night. And yes. Like so. Um, so hopefully that might catch the snake. Yeah. Otherwise, the other thing is people don't realise that they can get in the tiniest, tiniest places. So like, if something is pushed right up against the wall, I'm trying to think of something that might be pushed up against the wall here. Yep. Um, and, and you think that there's no gap behind there at all. You yep. know, oh, it can't possibly. Be. It could be behind there. It could be like behind books on a bookshelf. Wow. You know, or CDs, if you've got your CDs all lined yep. up there, or it can be behind there, things like that. Wow. So it's surprising where, you know, um, for me here, if I was to lose one, often they'll be in these gaps underneath. Okay, yep. So, so they'll if, get under there. Yeah, they'll get under there. Amazing. And then I'll get my tongs. And the other thing is that, you know, when, when, when I'm feeding, I always use tongs to feed my snakes because snakes don't, they don't know the difference really between this is a hot body and as far as they're concerned it could be a hot thing to eat so they think you could be food yeah so so i always pick up their mice with tongs gotcha but i also use the tongs to get the snake out <laughs> <laughs> and you've had to do that before i've had to do that yeah you are a human and you are and you and even though bad things happen to you you overcome it so your problems become solutions solutions <laughs> We love you, Snakey, Snakey Sue, and thank you. And can we look at your picture one more time? Oh, you can look at my picture one more time. Look at that. <laughs> She's amazing. And can you just explain where this photo was taken? You was on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, it was after Britain's Got Talent because I had um, uh, the Guardian newspaper, the local newspaper, they came round, yep. took photos of me, and they took... This was, this was Ra. He was a male albino Burmese python yep. that I rescued, and he died... Just after I moved here. Which, so it's yeah, so really sad. But um, he was a lovely boy as well. He was really, really... And I rescued him from another dance. Wow. Who, never mind, we won't go into it. But <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he was a lovely boy. And they, they, the photographer came around. He took, I've got about half a dozen really nice photos that mm. he took. Um, and that was 10 years ago when I was 60. And also today, you only look about 35, by the way. <laughs> but also today, we have made 14 live films of all your snakes. Thank you for letting us do this. And I hope all you people that have watched these, you're welcome to share the videos. And you're welcome to contact Sue if you'd like to ask Sue about anything. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So shine on to you and shine on to Sue. Goodbye and Merry Christmas. And remember, all problems could be solutions. Shine on.